In today's video, I will teach you how to make a realistic printed effect on your text using Photoshop. Let's get started. First, open the canvas where you would like to put your text on and type in the text that you would like to edit. Once you're satisfied, you can now convert the text layer to a smart object so that you can still edit the effect later on. To do this, simply right-click on the text layer and select Convert to Smart Object. Now, in the menu bar, open the Filters tab and select Noise, then Add Noise. Here, adjust the slider depending on how much noise you would like to put onto your text. But for this tutorial, I will use around 20 and I will set the noise distribution to uniform and enable the monochromatic effect. Once you're done, click OK. Now, open the Filters tab once again, select the Sort, then Wave. Here, I will set the number of generators to 50, wavelength to a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 15, amplitude to a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 10, and I will set the horizontal scale to 1% and the vertical scale to 1% as well. Set the wave type to sign and enable repeat edge pixels in undefined areas. Then click OK. Now, add a wave filter once again and this time set the number of generators to 50, wavelength to 3 and 20, amplitude to 5 and 10, and scale to 2%. Keep the wave type to sign and enable repeat edge pixels in undefined areas. But this time, click on randomize before clicking OK. Now, add another layer by clicking on the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel, or simply press shift Control n on your keyboard. Now, convert it to smart object. And in the menu bar, open the filters tab, select render, then clouds. Here, you can flip and randomize the cloud effect by double-clicking on the Cloud Filter on the Layers panel. Now, open the Filters tab once again, select Others, then High Pass, and here set the value to around 5. Now, open the Filters tab once again, open the Filters Gallery, then add Torn Edges, and set the Image Balance to 26, Smoothness to 10, and contrast to 2. Now, add another torrent edges, but this time, set the image value to 12, smoothness to 1, and contrast to 13. Now, add ocean ripple, set the ripple size to 15, and ripple magnitude to 20, and now, add glass, And set the distortion value to 20, smoothness to 10, scaling to 175, and finally, add another torn edge effect, and this time, set the image balance to 21, smoothness to 12, and contrast to 7. Then, click OK. Now, simply clip the effects layer onto the text layer by holding down Alt and clicking in between the text layer and the effects layer. Lastly, simply add textures on the background to make it look more realistic. Listen. And you're done. Hey. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.